When someone throws the word no at Tony Harris, you can bet she'll intercept it and make you pay. I think my biggest pet peeve is people telling me that I can't, and so I have to prove them wrong. The word no couldn't stop her from becoming a free safety for East L.A. College, the community college team she played for the past two seasons. They've said a lot of things about Tony Harris. Nor could it keep her from starring in a Super Bowl commercial for Toyota. Yeah, people have made a lot of assumptions about Tony. But I've never been a big fan of assumptions. The nose couldn't hold Tony back when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer at age 18 and lost nearly half her weight. And they certainly didn't block her from receiving scholarship offers from half a dozen schools, prompting this moment Tuesday. I will be signing to um, Central Methodist University. After revealing her pick in dramatic fashion, <laughs> Tony signed her letter of intent surrounded by supporters, including her coach, the past two years. Well, I didn't make it easy for her. Um, you know, I made her work for everything she got, but her resilience really is, is what pushed her through. I just really appreciate my coaches for it. Sorry, I said I was going to cry. <laughs> but for Tony, it's time to move the chains down the field. What's your dream moving forward? My dream moving forward is to become the first female NFL player. Sorry, I can't stop smiling when I say that. Why do you smile whenever you say that? I don't know, because it makes my heart happy. And to that, we say yes. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Uh, well, now we can't stop smiling yes. either. Tony! Tony. Yeah. Come on, Raiders. Oakland Raiders. We're soft on the corners. <laughs> Let's go. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You know what I just that. love about you? That you live by this quote. Be so good they can't ignore you. Um, yeah. Well, I think that's happening. Thank you. I, um, I do live by that quote. I actually have it tattooed right here on my right side oh, with really? an NFL football because that's my dream. And so I feel like, you know, they didn't make the sport. They don't want females to play in this sport. And so if you want the chance, you do have to be so good they can't ignore you because once you're that good, there'll be people reaching out. Like I always say that no matter what school you're at, no matter what state or what place, if you have the talent, they'll find you. And I'm Stay guessing away. they found me. Yeah. So. Did you ever think you'd be sitting here in this position, watching you unzip that jersey and show where you're going and the tears in your eyes and talking about the NFL? Did you have that dream? Did you believe that was possible when you were a little girl? Not when I was a little girl, but as I grew um, and, you know, getting more into God and, you know, having my faith and everything, uh, I knew that it was going to happen. Like, I figure out all the time how I'm going to do things and I just talk to God about it and I tell him what I want and I try to make sure I stay faithful and do, do as what he does. And so, you know, when God, when you do as he asks you, he blesses you in return. And so, like, I stay in church and everything. And at, at night, I tell God, like, you know, I want to get a interception or you know, <laughs> I want to do this in a game and it happens and I'm like this is super exciting like you know I didn't there was this um on this one game I had made a snapchat and I was like I'm going to get an interception today and it was the Compton game and then it kind of <laughs> happened and I was like I didn't know what to do at the moment in the game and so all my teammates they were like super excited but I was just like stunned in myself like did this really, did this happen? really happen it's like the Oprah and thing like you will it and then yeah it'll happen. yeah Talking X's and O's, what do you need to do in the next stage of your career to prepare yourself for potentially the NFL? What are you going to work on? Yeah, so I always tell people that the game is more 80% um, mental and 20% physical. And so although I do have the mentality for that, I still have to build my mentality more mm -hmm. every day because the next level gets harder and harder. It won't get any easier. And then more so physicality where I'm ready to continue to keep playing at the next level, going higher and higher. Tell me, four years ago, you have ovarian cancer. We saw the, the picture of you there. You lose half your body weight. At that point, did you think, you know what, maybe I am going to have to give up on this football thing, at least in the short term? Yeah, at first I did, but um, my family kind of helped me stay grounded in my faith and everything, and I, I did want to give up. You know, I thought things were over because I said, it's like, you know, you take two steps forward and you get set back five more steps. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of want to give up on those things and, when you don't have a background of people, you know, supporting you and you're dealing with it at your, on your own at first, it, it gets hard and you, you just want to give up on it. But I constantly have my friends who went to Toledo with me, my friend Dominique, who was, put, was pushing with me and go to the hospital with me at times. And I have my mom and them praying for me and my pastors and stuff. And so I kind of say, you know what? 
I've fought through everything else in my life. Oh, there's no stopping you now. Answer now it's fate. Now it's supposed to. Who's your team? Who's your favorite? I'm a big fan of the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, really? Ever think that there's a little girl? who's watching you right now, that you are inspiring. Good point. Mm -hmm. Old generation of young women say, if she can do it, I can right. too. They want to be of Tony yes. when they grow up. Well, they don't have to be me. They can, you know, make a own, their own legacy mm -hmm. and create names for themselves because you know what I believe? I believe the future is female. And Tony, just did, did the guys all accept you? When you walked onto the high school team, were they like, cool, she joined? Or were they kind of like, what is going on here? In high school, the guys weren't too fond of me playing, but, you know, they warmed up to me. And when I got to college, surprisingly, my teammates had already warmed up to me. They were like my second family, you wow. know. They asked me questions when they needed it. I asked them questions. I supported them. They supported me. And they held my head high as well as I did theirs. Tell what me position why football? Free safety. Yeah. Free, Free safety. And why that position? And why football? Why, mm -hmm. What about it captured your imagination? I think watching my cousin when I was younger, about four years old, I've seen, like, all the passion and competition and the love everyone had for each other. You know, I had always done cheerleading and track and field, but I wanted to do something mm. different. And it's not the fact that I was trying to be different. I just was because of my gender. And mm -hmm. so I tried it, and I fell in love with it ever since then. And mm. I think I chose defense because... Defense is more exciting than anything else. You know, offense sells tickets, but defense, defense wins. You have to have, you got to sit back there in the cut. You got to have that the vision. And do all the you got to see tackle, multiple yeah. things at once. But to Al's point, the win here for you isn't just about football. This is about, I got yeah. two daughters watching this right now, young women watching this right now, being inspired that the future is female and that you embody that, that, yeah. that power exactly. in whatever field they choose to go in. Exactly. And I feel like it's important you know, to be a, a leader and a role model for the young girls today because we don't have a lot of those now. And you can kind of see the image of females dropping out of sports. And, you know, the guy, they're, they're more dominant in sports, but we want to get our females into sports. We want to support them and tell them, you know, and then there was a time where women couldn't work and women couldn't, you know, do for themselves. But now we want to we want to make sure we have equality, too. There's things we want to do and accomplish and make people proud. And so I feel as though if you have the talent to be on a football field or yeah. be on a basketball court, mm -hmm. you should be given that chance fairly. Absolutely. as guys. We are Tony we're, Harris. We're, yeah, we're, Absolutely. We're so proud of you, girl. Two words. Thank where's Nike? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Let's go. Well, she already did a Toyota commercial. She's good. Gonna, the sponsors are going to have to get in line. All right. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for having me.